Surveillance video capturing the moment a plane crashed into an apartment building on Main Street in Keene. Probably about an eighth of a mile, I would say, from, from the end of the runway. An eighth of a mile. That's how far officials say the plane had gotten from Dillon Hopkins Airport before the crash. Crews responded to the scene just before 7 p.m. and battled smoke and flames for nearly two hours. So the point of impact was somewhat remote from the main body of the house. Officials say the plane hit a garage attached to the building where eight people live. The two people inside the plane were killed. Everyone in the apartment got out safe. And the fact that it hit a building where eight people were living and none of those people were injured is uh, is an important detail and we're, and we're very lucky. But now those people are without a home and are being assisted by the Red Cross. He, he lost everything. His vehicles, um, he's a contractor so he lost a lot, all, almost all his tools that were in the thing. Um, so he got hit pretty hard. Michael Robinson is friends with someone who lived in the back of the apartment close to where the plane hit. He's also the building director for the church next door. It's a little nerving because the planes, this is the direct flight path to the airport. So planes go about constantly. We think nothing of it because we're so used to it. Keene Mayor George Hansel says the plane is owned by Monadnock Aviation and says this likely won't impact airport operations because this was a rare occurrence. The NTSB is investigating. And Hope Chapel canceling Sunday service here tomorrow so investigators can continue to use this parking lot to try to piece together what happened here. In Keene, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.